All right, today's date is January 9th, or 8th, 2012, and I'm making this video as I'm walking my bike, organized gang stock in San Diego, California, and my name is Leslie Williams. I've been extremely busy ever since uh, December 7th. I went out of town for a week. I was gang stocked out there like you would not believe. Massive amounts of proof. They're not allowing me to upload the videos of proof or the audio files of proof at SDSU in San Diego Public Libraries and a library in the town that I went to. I caught proof right away the first day I was out there, the first morning. And uh, <coughs> now, I'm making this particular video file in the name of my, and I hope they don't mind, in the name of my fellow targets. And I'm just gonna name a few of them. But I'm here today to tell you fellow American citizens if you thoroughly and meticulously research organized stalking or gang stalking, uh, hang on a second. You'll clearly be able to see that there's hundreds of thousands of Americans right now and literally millions worldwide experiencing this crime. We are, our, every area of our life, our personal life, our personal autonomy, our financial autonomy, totally destroyed. It's organized crime in the system. Go to Google and, type, and YouTube and type in the following names. Erica Gilmore, Ramona Lopez, both of those are California targets, along with myself, Beth Donahue. Oh man, what they did to her, they stole her house and they used all types of neural manipulation technology on her. Remote neural monitoring and electronic harassment, which is the microwave auditory effect. Uh, go to surveillanceissues.com and check out what's on their webpage and then go to the bottom of Freedom From Covert Harassment and Surveillance's homepage. There's three PDF links. Scrutinize that material and then cross-reference it to what you get at surveillanceissues.com. I make these video in the, videos in the name of the targets that I just mentioned. Erica Gilmore, I hope you're safe. I truly and sincerely do. I make this video in reference to James Walbert and what's happened to him and what he puts up with on a daily basis. Um, David Larson, I make this video for you too. Leslie Crawford, Jesus Mendoza. Connie Marshall and her grandchildren, bless her sweet soul. You would not believe what that woman has went through. I'm sure just the same as the rest of us, but, you know, oh, my, Macy Monroe. And, you know, they not only destroy our lives, every aspect of it, including 100% how they create homelessness of targets. Uh, it's organized crime in the system. They're in all kinds of racketeering, including human trafficking, land co-opting, mortgage co-opting, trust fund liquidation, identity theft, Human trafficking, sexual servitude rings, uh, prostitution rings. Uh, it's organized crime in the system that has tentacles out within the community. I want to get back to Connie Marshall just for a second and Macy Monroe. You would not believe the money they went through just trying to survive and expose the crimes that were happening towards them. I was reading on Macy Monroe's website. She went over, I, if I read it correctly, she went through over $200,000 trying to get justice concerning what happened to her. Yeah, I strongly suggest you go to her webpage, Google it, Macy Monroe. She was a congressional candidate for the 28th District of uh, Beverly Hills in November 2012. Look at number two on her priority list. Cross-reference that information to YouTube John Hall Satellite Terrorism. 